had to stop a workout because it just hurt too much. So I took two weeks off of running. It felt better, I thought. But next week, it hurt again. I went to a doctor. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about our cross-country story for James River High School the last two years. First of all, I want to give a shout out to John Herman. I know you're watching. Oh boy. Thanks for the support. Alright, so we're, we're going to start it off by talking about 2017. Just brief overview so that you guys know where we were at the start of this year's season. Alright, so 2017 started in the summer. We had a good mindset. We were grinding. A couple of us went to the Virginia Tech... Uh, Cross country camp, I didn't, but uh, we still put in the work. And then um, late August came, actually August twenty seventh. I broke my ankle, and I was out for what was supposed to be the whole year. Uh, I kind of rushed recovery a little bit to make regionals because we hadn't made it in twenty one years, and we thought this was going to be our year. And I was a key member in the squad. And um, so I came back, uh, what, late, mid-October, mid mid yeah. which was about two weeks out from regionals. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in decent shape because I was doing uh, cycling and swimming for cross training. And um, coming into the meet, we were, what were we ranked? We were ranked second. And on, on the miles that virtual meet, we were about... And how many go? Top three teams out of the eight in our region qualify for states. Um, we were seated second. And this was without me. This like, was, this, this was it's without not like Joe. with me with like a yeah. fast PR. This is without, without Joe. Joe. We knew Joe was going to be back for this race. We were about 15, 20 points behind Cosby and about 30 points in front of Manchester and Clover Hill. So even with me coming back, we thought we might have had a chance to win. Our, our goal going into the race was to beat Cosby in the regionals. Yeah. Um, so race day comes. And just warming up, everything felt right, was ready. I was nervous. I was and so nervous. Yeah, I feel like everybody was a little bit nervous. Um, <laughs> it's regional, so like, what can you expect? But. So we get to the start line, coach gives us that little pep talk, as he usually does, and then the gun goes off. Uh, right behind Gray North Cut. <laughs> I, yeah, where was I? Then, I think I don't think I had good positioning. No. I went out no fast. One had good positioning. I think it went out really went fast. Out fast. I was Everyone planning went out on fast. Everybody was excited. I was planning on sticking right behind Luke, and I ended up being like a solid, at least five seconds behind him at the mile. Yeah, and so then, you know, the way the course worked, about a thousand meters was with a bunch of spectators, and you go in the woods. And at least for me, when we got in the woods, I was kind of like, mm, we easily got states. You know, I don't really feel like working out of this race, you know, we got it. Er er everyone else will do fine. We're easily going to make states. It's going to be great. It's going to be this big celebration. We're super excited. Um, and then we hit the, the what? The 1. Point, the 1.7. 1. 1.7, 1. where you with start going uphill. 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 All of a sudden. I'm halfway up the hill, and I look to my right. And on his knees is our top runner. Not our top runner. One of our better runners. runners was throwing up. And I knew right there that we were in trouble. Well, we our number trouble. five. It was our number five? Was it five, four? It was four. Was it, it, was was it, four? four. it was four. four. Our number four runner was throwing up on the side of the race during the race. So... I was ahead of him at the time, so I didn't know. But as, I, as we crossed the finish line, we started talking to everybody else. And no one had a good race. So we were starting to be a little concerned. Yeah. So so then the, the way it works is like 15 minutes after the race, all the teams like gather around with all the parents behind them. And they make, you know, the announcement. They start with last place and go to the first place. And so um, it's like starting as like, you know, the dude's like fifth place, Riverbend. Yes. <laughs> Top yeah, because Riverbend was, they were supposed to be like, they were kind of up there. So we were like, sweet, we beat Riverbend. I think we got it. 
And then they were like, the next few places were closed. Uh, art what? shops. Yeah, we were like, oh. And then they were like, what? Fourth and place off a tie. No, 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 no. They said there was a tie for third place. The tie between Manchester and James River. The tiebreaker is the sixth runner. And, and, and then, like, time just froze. Well, we didn't make it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Our sixth runner didn't do too hot. <laughs> he threw up mid race. <laughs> we were like, oh boy. Um, and then they're like, fourth place, James River High School. <laughs> Honestly, I just loved. Head down. I just left. Everyone was cleaning up. I left. No one talked. Everyone was just like, we completely choked. Yeah. It was, it was At least we had two runners. Two runners in the States, States. But like, you know, the whole thing was about the team making it for the first time in 21 years. But mm -hmm. the one piece of pot, like positivity that we could find was that none of our runners were seniors. So everybody was coming back 2018. And so we circled that date on our calendars. November 1st, 2018. We're making States. First time in 22 years. So let's fast forward to June 26th, first day, of, first day of summer practice. Six of our seven varsity runners are seniors. We know we have to do it this year. Joe's coming off Joe's happen. coming off nine months of not running. <laughs> Joe didn't do indoor and outdoor. Instead, he played Fortnite. So, um, you know, we had some stuff to figure out, but everyone was fresh. Everyone was ready, mm -hmm. and we were ready to grind. And so then we went to Virginia Tech running camp, but this year Joe came – you know, I think we had, what, six, eight guys on our team. Yeah, went. that was actually a blast. Like two. Stay tuned for our next video where we talk about our experience We, we, we had a lot of people come in. You know, the whole varsity team was there. Everybody was prepared. And so, you know, we're training. We're starting to ramp up our miles. We're starting to really get some speed in. Everyone's feeling good about their season. Until one day. 12-mile long run. Salisbury neighborhood. Blacktop. We ran fast that day. It was a nice day. But all of a sudden, I realized halfway through, my left shoulder. <laughs> At first, I thought it was just a shin splints, but it kept getting worse. That was a Sunday. The next Friday, I had to stop a workout because it just hurt too much. So I took two weeks off of running. I felt better, I thought. But the next week, it hurt again. Went to the doctor. Stress fracture. 